Hi, and welcome to Story Mode 6-5 Tears' third wire from the top tutorial. This is the third thinnest wire. Uh, probably the fastest medium level wire you can take. The, the first one that actually requires the technique in order to finish, unlike the thicker wires below it. Um, this this rail is interesting because while many you know balancing strategies require pure delicate adjustments, this one actually has a really hard notchy technique you can use in order to finish it quickly every single time. We're gonna go through that now. First I'm gonna play through it really quick just to kind of get a feel for what I want to say here. It's very muscle memory based for me. Mm -hmm. As you can see, while watching my input display, never was that attempt totally sealed. It was never simple. You do have to keep your eye on staying near the middle of the path the entire time. Because it is quite thin, so any slight, slight off, slight being off on what input you need at a certain time can send you off the edge. This will take practice to uh, get a feel for. As for what input you want to hold most of the time, that's upright. Upright is your main input. Whenever you're in the middle of the wire, you want to be holding upright. Whenever you're not in the center and you're starting to fall off on the edges, that's when you want to adjust to up or right. For example, well, that, there I came into it with a little bit too much speed, so there was absolutely no saving it. It's important to make sure you go neutral before heading towards the wire, or else you might have too much speed. See, I almost fell off the right side. That was when I switched to my up input. If I almost fall off the left side, that's when I'll switch to my right input. As long as you're not going too fast, you'll only ever need a slight adjustment in order to fix falling off either side. And if the attempt is really, really good, like you set it up perfectly, ultra textbook, you might actually be able to hold upright the entire time. That is the perfect and fastest attempt. But that only happens once in a blue moon. You usually have to do a little bit to fix it. It's really hard to get confident with this strat though, because it's hard to believe that upright, like upright is a very powerful input. It's hard to believe that that's the one that mostly takes you across the wire. But trust me, as long as you come into this with a fairly moderate amount of speed, upright will already start carrying you along the rail pretty confidently. Then obviously when you're about to fall off either end, you want to switch to compensate. I think this strat gets easier the slower you start it. So when you first learn the strat, totally slow down. And then you'll notice that every, every adjustment is a little bit less intense. Every single adjustment doesn't require a, an extreme amount of time. It's just a little, little tiny offset from the upright input. That's if you start off very slow. If you start off very fast, you might even need some diagonal, like downright, in order to save it, which is why I would re not recommend going at it as fast as you can. But yeah, drop, drop, neutral, upright, once you're on the wire. And then as you fall off in either direction, adjust to, uh, adjust to compensate. This is another strat that heavily relies on your ability to react to what's happening while you're on the wire, which obviously takes a lot of practice. Number one advice. Number two, try to make sure that whatever TV, screen, monitor, computer, emulator you're using is at the lowest possible latency. Because the higher your latency is, the harder it is to react to uh, falling off a wire in this game. Uh, as far as common mistakes, uh, let me show you what might happen if you don't slow down at all coming into this wire. Yes. <laughs> you can just totally miss, but like it would have been extremely hard to regain my balance because I didn't slow down at all coming into it. Possible, and it probably would have been pretty fast. But not worth the risk of the fact that I had like no chance of even like re regaining my balance on that wire. And obviously if you come into it too slow, well then the upright won't, won't work as, um, as well as it does with a moderate amount of speed. You don't want to go top speed. You want to neutral a little bit before you get there. But you still want to be going fast enough where upright is mainly the input that works. The more upright you use, that was a really fast time, that was a 50-80. 50 is like the, the goal time with the strat. And the more upright that you need in order to stay alive, the faster it'll end up being, because diagonal upright is the fastest input that you can do while on this wire. 